Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros, and today we're going to be building an $850 gaming PC. And you know what? We're going to be giving this thing away to somebody who desperately needs this PC. But before we get into this video, let's hear a word from Micro Center, our sponsor. Micro Center is an amazing place if you want to go and get some really good deals on PC hardware. Micro Center was nice enough to send over all this PC hardware with one stipulation. We have to give this PC away to somebody who is either impacted by COVID-19 or is an essential worker or both. What we're gonna be doing is giving away this computer and all you have to do is go to our Discord channel down below, join the Discord server. Ooh. There'll be a special channel for you to nominate somebody who has been impacted by COVID-19 or is an essential worker or nominate yourself. All you have to do is post a video in that channel explaining what's going on, short whatever, explain what's going on in your life. And we will be choosing the winner of this giveaway on our live stream July 1st at 9 a.m. Eastern time over on twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. So go ahead, submit your videos now, and we will go ahead and review those, and, you know, we'll pick a winner. So how about we go ahead and talk about each part and how it makes up this PC build? So for the CPU, we've decided to go with the brand new Ryzen 3300X. This is on the third gen platform. It is a four core, eight thread. And for gaming, it blows half the other processors out there out of the water. And for coming in at only around 129, this is a no brainer for a gaming build that's budget oriented. And for the motherboard, well, motherboards are hard to get right now. So we went with the Tough B450M Plus. You are spending quite the premium on the motherboards right now, but luckily at Micro Center, you can actually get the motherboard CPU combo. So you can actually save like $20. So highly recommend if you can going in person and picking out this stuff yourself. But this is a really good board and the Tough brand is no slouch when it comes to gaming. And it's 3000 ready. Yippee boys. And for RAM, we decided to go with Crucial RAM because well, it's some of the best RAM out there and it's RGB, which of course is essential. So this is 16 gigs, it's DDR4 of course, and it's 3200 megahertz and it's dual channel. So everything that Ryzen loves and Ryzen loves RGB and everybody knows RGB adds 30 FPS. So had to do it. So we had a slight problem. We had an uneven amount of parts. So we're doing, we're doing this, this one, one together. together. Well, <laughs> we said at the same time. This is an inland 512 NVMe. SSD. M.2. Woohoo. And now for the graphics card. We went with the MSI Ventus 2060 Super, which is honestly one of the best cards you can get for this kind of configuration because it's not too overkill for something like the 3300X, but it also delivers pretty much 1080p max settings or 1440p max settings. For a graphics card that comes in around $400, you really can't complain. The Super comes with the updated eight gigs of VRAM compared to the normal one, which comes with six gigs, and it's great for most people, especially for content creators. The new NVENC encoder on the RTX cards are awesome for uh, being able to live stream and just do whatever you want with uh, the NVENC encoder. Coder, so this is a great option. Now for the power supply. We're using the in-house brand of Micro Center. This is their power spec 650 watt power supply. Now, yes, we know power supplies are really hard to come by right now. So we'll leave this link to Micro Center, but there are a lot of other options you can go with on the market. Just try to find the best one you can. Anything over like 450, 500 watts will be more than enough for this PC build. But we decided to showcase the Micro Center one because well, it's a Micro Center build. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is my favorite case. This is the NZXT H510, with that tempered glass, very nice, clean, minimal design. We absolutely love NZXT cases here for how easy they are to build in, and also just how cool they look. This case comes in at around $60 right now, which is a very awesome price. You load this thing up with RGB if you wanted to, and more fans, and make a really awesome PC. So, how about we go ahead and do that, build this computer, and watch Jackson almost fall into a tripod, which he does every single time. I don't know why he does it. Let's build it. Alright, so you guys just got to see some pretty good benchmarking from this $850 gaming PC. Even on Modern Warfare on high settings, we got over 100 FPS, so that's pretty awesome that this thing can handle that. 
And we also tested a couple other games like Fortnite. Uh, we played that at Pro Settings 1080p and we were getting well over 100 plus, even 200 plus FPS, which is again, very impressive for this kind of setup. Fortnite is normally pretty easy to run, but if you're getting over that 200 FPS mark, you're starting to look at high refresh rate monitor territory, which could be something you could be interested in investing in. The same thing goes for Modern Warfare. If you lower the settings from high settings, you can most certainly get into that range where you could invest in something like a high refresh rate monitor. Even in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, on high settings, we managed to get over 100 FPS, and even though this thing is a 4-core, 8-threaded processor, it still performs on par with a Ryzen 3600. So if you can get this thing for around 130 bucks as opposed to like the usual 180 to 200 for the 3600, it's kind of a no-brainer. Availability on these processors are kind of limited, so be sure to check the updated links in the description down below when you are purchasing stuff for this PC. You might be able to find one at different locations, but we'll be sure to leave as many links as we can to as many different resources resources available in the description down below. But overall, very happy with this PC build. Always love the NZXT H510, very awesome case. And this hardware configuration actually works out really well. Now I'm gonna let Jackson remind you all about this giveaway that we're gonna be doing. So I'm supposed to remind you guys about this giveaway. So we're actually giving away this whole entire computer absolutely free. All you have to do is send us a video showing how you are an essential worker or even nominating someone that is an essential worker. Just give us a video on our Discord channel down below, which we'll have details on how to enter exactly in the description down below, so make sure you check that out. But the contest will end July 1st when Matt and I do our Wednesday morning stream at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're basically gonna go through all the videos and we're gonna pick our favorite one. We might even kind of leave it up to the viewers if we have multiple favorites and do like a straw poll to see who likes the video the most and then that person's gonna win the PC so make sure you're following us on twitch.tv slash toasty bros right right there because that is where you're actually going to win this PC and that's where we're gonna announce it. so make sure that you're there if you want to actually see yourself winning this PC and we'll send you a message on discord if you do indeed win so overall, thanks again to Micro Center for helping us out with this PC build and being able to give it away to an essential worker or somebody who's been impacted by the coronavirus situation around the world. We're very excited to be able to do this and it's a great cause. So as I already mentioned, don't forget to check us out on twitch.tv slash toastybrews right there. And also don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels that are really awesome and have all kinds of extra content that we don't do on this channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Toasty Bros. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Go old computer.